Hi, my name is Ruthie. I run the Seattle Artist League and I get to teach art classes there. Um, the most common question that I get is what's my favorite class? So I'd have to say the Friday night portraits class is my favorite class. And um, it's, it's the class where everybody's had a stressful week and we just want to relax and draw together. And so I've got people who have uh, art degrees. I've got people who have never drawn face before and, uh, and it's pretty fun. So I, uh, we take pictures of ourselves, right? Because we're all online now, right? So here we are, we've got these cameras everywhere. So um, we take funny pictures of ourselves and I get pictures off of the Sketchy app, which I highly recommend. Um, and this has been unexpectedly fabulous because in the studio, drawing from life, um, we would have a model, which is wonderful. I love drawing an actual person who is sitting there. But you know, one of the things that happens is somebody gets a really great view and then everybody else gets a kind of mm, okay view. And then somebody's stuck with something where they can barely see anything because it's entirely shadow or entirely light or, or like a profile instead of a nice three-quarter view right so um, so online we all have exactly the same view and sometimes we'll have a model that'll be just sitting there for us which is astonishingly lovely um, but then a lot of times we'll just have photographs and we'll just run through photographs and we've all got the same view so when we look at our work and I can do a little screen share here just like I do in class um, when, when we look at our work together, we can, um, we can compare uh, how that went for us, right? So um, here's, here's a portrait that was done and, he, and here's the same pose as two different takes on the same face, right? So um, here, here's another uh, two different takes on the same face. So it's, it's super interesting. It's not a slightly different view. And um, so we're able to do these slideshows together and um, and look at each other's work. This one is just this one is stunning, isn't it? This is um, a perfect example of what I love about the expressive portraits class because um, I go through how to measure and how to um, uh, the you know the the proportions of the face you know typical. <laughs> like right like the the eyes are this far apart and then the the you know they're just a little less than halfway down and you know they you got all the measurements and stuff but what happens when somebody tilts their head or they're looking down uh, a, a little bit or up a little bit or or if they're asymmetrical or scrunching their face a little bit right so those are the interesting moments in a portrait. It's not, you know, putting the eyes in the right place. It's like all the other stuff going on there. And how do you get that in there? How do you get the personality or um, in there? So we did um, uh, every every class I teach is different. But so last quarter we really focused on asymmetrical faces and how to describe the topography of the face. So I would even remove the eyes. And sometimes even the nose and the mouth from our reference photograph. And um, so uh, we were all really challenged to figure out how to describe the rest of the face, right? Because we all do it when we, when we sit down to draw a face, we're gonna draw the outline of the face, we're gonna put two eyes, a nose and a mouth, and we're gonna be like, yes, I put it in the right place, I'm feeling really good about myself, or mm, my eyes too low, I feel horrible. But that's not really what makes an interesting portrait, is it, right? So we um uh we focused a little bit on on proportions but what we really wanted to do was just describe the rest of the face you know some some sagging some some scrunching like how how do you describe all of this where it's not just um two eyes and a nose and a mouth floating on a on nothing how do you how do you describe all of the contours of the face, the, the, the topography, so you don't have what I call the blueberry pancake effect, right? Just the floating features on nothing. Um, it's quite a challenge, but man, when you do it, it's just fantastic. And um, these are some funny portraits that we did of each other, right? So this is, this is Mimi's portrait. She sent this in and she had this great 
warp from her camera her you know her phone's got that fisheye lens so she's got this enormous jaw and it's just got so much great personality in it it's just so incredibly fun and look at all of this uh fun texture and curves and contours and and the fantastic uh shadows she um georgia took this a really tough photo with really hard line and shadow, but it was so fun to figure out how to navigate that. Um, that here's a, another uh, version of that same picture, right? So we're we're all just taking a taking a turn with this, and then Alex, of course, wins the award for the funniest picture because he gets himself shaving and he's got that quarantine hair that's sticking out. And, and he's stretching and contorting his face. So this is a really hard pose to draw, but we've, we've been working out like how to, how to get the relationships in there really quick. So a lot of these are um, uh, uh, 20 minute drawings. And, um, and so we're just getting them down there. It's just quick gestures and, uh, and look at this great, uh, this is, I think this is Katie Joe's. This is, look at this fabulous description of the um, the jaw and the and the chin and the neck, look at all of those great lines. And she's got a beautiful eye here, but actually the strength of the drawing is everything else, right? All these crunching bits. And then uh, Mimi did this great portrait that I turned into the uh, thumbnail for the class. Um, <laughs> I just thought this guy was just fantastic, and she just whipped that out so fast with her uh, brush pen. So, um, so working online, I can give critiques, we can talk about it, um, we can have a lovely evening. That's my favorite class. So um, I asked everybody what they wanted to do next quarter for summer and um, everybody said they wanted to do color. So expressive portraits in color in the summer, start soon, you should sign up.